This video will cover the process to align the following Tsunami and Orinoco products in order to maximize the signal strength via the AAD, the Antenna Alignment Display Tool. AAD is a tool used to assist with aligning the units to monitor real-time SNR via uh, Telnet or a serial connection. Uh, so the products are uh, for the Tsunami line, uh, the QB MP XP 10 100 series, uh, the QB um, MP 8000 series, the Tsunami QB MP 800 series, and the Ornoco QB 9100 series. Um, a quick note, uh, the receive signal strength indicator LEDs uh, only apply to the QB MP 800 series radios. Uh, this is something we cover later on. The installation procedures documented in this video are only recommended practices. Professional installation is always recommended and in some cases required by law. If professional installation services are required, please contact us and we can provide recommendations to local integrators if available in your area. The hardware portion is activated when the provided serial dongle is connected to the back of the unit and the warp link is active. Once inserted, the unit will start beeping. The faster and louder the beeps are, the stronger the SNR is. This only applies to radios that have a serial connection. The software portion is controlled via Telnet, Serial, or SSH. A serial dongle is required on the serial side. To enable the AED command, type in the following commands. Please note that the AED command slightly differs between the QB MP8800 series and the QB MP5054R series. On the QB MP8800 series, the command is as follows. There are going to be three commands depending on what you want to do. The first one is going to be Enable, this is going to get you into privilege mode, AAD Enable. Now this is going to show you both local and remote, both radios are going to be here listed. The next one down is going to be, once again, Enable, and then AAD Enable Local. That's only going to show you the local side, not the remote, just the local. And last but not least, once again, Enable, and then AAD Enable Remote. This is going to show you the remote link. Once the AAD command has been activated, the screen will display the current SNR values to the local side of the link. As the antennas are moved either vertically or horizontally, the SNR will either rise or fall, depending on the distance of the link and other environmental factors. The SNR should fall between 30 dB to 50 dB. As both sides of the link will have to be aligned several times to achieve the best possible SNR values, the realignment process might take a few tries. As mentioned, one of the options is to look at the link from both ends, from your local and remote. For that, the command is AAD enable. As you will see here, it will show you the signal, the noise, and the SNR for both local and remote. And uh, depending on what radio we have, we have A1, A2, and an A3. Uh, for my particular link, I'm using a MP8100 that's using A1 and A3 and a A25 which is using A1 and A2. So as you can see, that's the reason why I have all of them. But once again, you can see my local and remote as it's going down. And as I can move it left, right, up and down, vertical, horizontal, the SNR, the signal is going to change. The QB MP800 series introduces a new feature. This feature is the RSSI meter. This is the way that you going to align the radios. As you can see here, there are five bars. Each one represent a certain dB level for your SNR. Uh, the graph is going to be shown. Basically, what you do is when you align the radio, either vertically or horizontally, you're going to see that the bar graph is either going to increase or decrease. This indicates the signal strength of the link at that particular point. There are no sounds in this particular radio, will not beep, 
This is going to be your alignment tool along with the AAD command. To learn more about Proxim Wireless and our solutions, please visit us at Proxim.com or follow us at Twitter at Proxim.